This is the Elego Saturn II. It's a new printer. And maybe it deserved a new name too, because it changed so much. The build size got bigger, it's a new FAP, the, the resolution is so much higher. The UV source is more uniform and powerful, and light finally goes up straight. I tested it and this is a big deal. Elego sent me this a few days before the official release, so I am super excited to see it working. Packaging is quite clever, they can just fit the proper cable and ship to a different country. And here's the printer. So beautiful. Here's the toolkit, I'll show it later. And the huge build plate. A leveling card with instructions. And the resin vet. Outside, it is very different. The previous Saturns were very squared. Now the power button is in the front. And I... and I... And, ah. <laughs> Come on, I'm working here. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Both sides have air vents now, protected with a foam filter. The USB port is still at the right side. And this is the back. Should we take a look inside? Sure, right? Okay, okay, it's, it's enough. All right. This is the key of the Mars 3. And this... <laughs> this... Oh my god, this... Uh, I like it. The build volume of the Saturn II is more than one inch longer than the original Saturn, and vertically it grew practically two inches more. If you think of it, it is the same height as a filament printer. The Saturn II is now Elegos' highest resolution printer. You don't have to choose between size or resolution anymore. The Saturn II prints bigger and crisper. I know 8K is a great seller, but the new UV light system is really, it matters a lot. So the Saturn II is using a cob that's much more reliable and easy to get uniform exposure than a matrix source. Let me show you with the paper. I am pretty sure some users of the original Saturn will appreciate this change. The promotional video also shows this. Light comes up, but before it goes through the 8K mono LCD, light passes through a Fresnel lens, or Fresnel, to collimate the light. Collimate, collimated beam. Thanks again, Wikipedia. But does it work? Let's first test on the original Mars 3, because it doesn't have a collimating source. Light should expand sideways, like a normal projector. <laughs> but on the Saturn 2, we should see some weird science miracle. Yeah, science! I know you could argue that the distance between the LCD and the resin is negligible, that light won't bleed so much. There is only one way to know. Let's see the Mars 3 and the new Saturn II's LCD under a microscope. We will look at the G and the Y because they are at the corner where light would bleed more. On the Saturn II I can only see the parallax effect that's normal. And you can see that laterally it is not expanding. Indeed, it goes up parallel. Now, let's check the Mars 3. This is what happens when light doesn't go parallel. So the more you go to the edges, the print gets a bit less crisp and it also gets less accurate in dimensions. Anyway, on the Saturn II, UV light is collimated. It goes up parallel. This is good engineering and it raises the bar. There is also a tempered glass screen protector. That's great. And if you know what 9H means, enlighten us in the comments. Now, on the toolbox, it came this 
air purifier. This is not new on Elego resin printers, but it is new to me. Here we live in a small apartment, and if I could use the printer close to my bedroom <laughs> instead of the kitchen, it would be great. This filter doesn't use batteries, it goes in this plug. It just looks like a USB port. Well, it uses a physical USB connector. But there is a warning here telling that it delivers 24 volts. So don't plug anything else in here, just the filter. So does it work? Yes, it works. We can feel the smell, but it's much better. And if by any means you don't want resin fumes in your workshop, I don't know if this is any standard hole, but you don't need to risk breaking your cover. <laughs> the hard work is already done for you here. I had time to print only one special print. I wanted something with a nice texture. Big, of course, that's what this printer is about. I bought this amazing bust modeled by Sid Nike. He is a phenomenal artist. If you like movies and series, check his work and buy his models. I need to confess I made a mistake, made the draining holes on the jacket, but I forgot to make holes in the head. <laughs> Sorry, Sid, I butchered your impressive model. I also printed the mandatory tests that geeks like me cannot resist to look in the microscope. The Saturn II is a no-compromise printer. It has everything, but Elego is also launching two other new printers, a Mars 3 Pro with a lot of improvements, including a Fresnel lens system, and the Neptune 3 that I will take a look soon. So check it out, I will put links for all of them in the description. If you have any questions about these machines, just leave a comment. You guys are the best, and there is always 3D printing here on Geek Detour.